I'm just feeling really disgusted and sick right now. I just not. I was in a kind of okay, decent mood. I, I just made my video for the Coach Rickard Star after drawing that cartoon, and I was feeling a little alright. I was thinking about the food, what I'm gonna eat tonight, and now yeah, Susan Collins is talking right now. Do you hear this? Hear that? That's the sound of our judicial branch being sold out. She, I don't think she's actually said it yet that she's going to vote for Kavanaugh, but the way she's justifying everything and parsing is just. It's sickening. I, I just kind of like want to go. I, I, I want to go. I don't know. It's like I got to go join the Ralph Club. <laughs> Here, hearing Susan Collins talks makes me want to join the Ralph Club. It is September. Not. It's October 5th, 2018, 3.32 p.m. This is episode 247. Ugh. I thought this cartoon was going to take me like 10 minutes to draw after I did all the lettering. Which I knew would take me like 20 minutes. And it did. But then I started changing everything in the cartoon. And next thing I knew, I, I spent three hours on the cartoon. Uh, you want to hear my stylist story? Uh, I already told this on the Costa Rica Star video, but this one will be posted before that one will because they uh, they jack a lack around. Um, at, sometimes my, my stylist would just stop working, and you got to reboot. Not really reboot. You got to shut the whole thing down and then start it back up on the Service Pro. And uh, and then sometimes that doesn't work, so you do it again, then you do it again, and then all of a sudden it starts working. And it likes to do it like at 3 a.m. Um, Last time I did that, it just wouldn't work, so I changed the battery out. I went, went running to Best Buy and everything to get battery and stuff, and then that helped. I did it. This time I was ready. It did it to me right before I did my Costa Rica Star video. And it takes a quad four battery. That's quadruple. If you're a quadruple A battery, if you're a Donald Trump supporter, quadruple means four. Um, but fortunately, I had ordered a quad pack of those from Amazon and last when I first bought the thing the battery lasted nearly a year and now I think it's lasting what it was and look I looked up silhouette I spelled it correctly in my notes without looking it up and then I look it up and I still misspell it and thankfully I caught it it just something just was not looking right it's just like I did look too big I don't look like so anyway yeah I did my you know that stylus story wasn't as interesting as I thought it was now that I just said it <laughs> Just, um, last time I though I went running, uh, I think Best Buy closed at 10. I got there like at 10.55. Because you know how hard it is to find a quadruple A battery? It's hard. I mean, maybe, well, maybe it's not that hard, but you can't buy one at 7-Eleven or Wawa. You're just not going to find one. You can't find them at Sheets either. And if you don't live here on the East Coast, you don't know what a Sheets or a Wawa is, well, that's just too bad because they're kind of awesome. They're like gas stations with where they make food. And uh, my last apartment had a Sheets right down the road. And one time I went walking there at 3 a.m. to get a battery, and they didn't have it. But then, of course, I just kept rebooting and it finally worked. Um, and, but now I have a Wawa up the road. And I do prefer the sheets food over the Wawa food. And also, I could sit down and draw at sheets. Uh, they had Wi-Fi and they had a little area, like a dining area, and I'd go sit there for like five hours and drink coffee. And they have a better selection. Anyway, I'm not talking about that. This whole Kavanaugh thing makes me sick. I mean, they send these guys out and they're like, you got a week to investigate, and they come back five days later and go, no, nope, didn't find nothing, because they wouldn't let them investigate anybody. People are calling the FBI like, hey, I got some shit on Kavanaugh. I got some stuff. And they're like, don't want to talk to you. They got the people that they have interviewed said, okay, here's some other folks that you should talk to that can corroborate. And those people were never, ever contacted. It's, I mean, they were hamstrung. I think these guys wanted to look better, look for, do a better job at it. And they could have found out a lot more within a week. I mean, you could probably dig stuff up on the Pope if you had seven days, you'd find something. I mean, 
these guys didn't find crap. It's like they got the Finding Bigfoot people to go look. Because the Finding Bigfoot people are experts at Finding Bigfoot, yet they, they've never found a Bigfoot. And it's been on for like nine seasons. I mean, if you had a cooking show, and you spent nine seasons without cooking anything, I think people would stop watching. When are you going to make that lasagna? Come on. But anyway, it's like they sent the Finding Bigfoot people out to find Bigfoot, and they said, you have a week. And they came back five days and go, yep, no Bigfoots out there. You're like, did you got three, two more days? Get, get your ass back out there in the woods. Stop around. But evidently, the FBI does not like to go squash it. And you know what? If you called the FBI and you said, you know what? I got something on Kavanaugh. They wouldn't return your call. But if you called them and said, I saw a Bigfoot dancing with an alien in my backyard, they'd probably call you back in 10 minutes. I just feel kind of sick. I feel kind of sick. Hey, Arlo, uh, I cranked up. Nobody was home, so I cranked up my little orange practice amp. It's like an orange crate. It's got like an eight-inch speaker. And I plugged in my Strax. I wanted to give those uh, new pickups a ride really, really loud. And it sounded really, really cool. And then I plugged in my Telecaster because I just get down with it. And then um, I put in my uh, 335 Epiphone. And it just sounded awesome. I put it into the neck position, and it sounded like a big muff. And now you guys might think, if you're, if you're not Arlo, you're thinking, oh my god, this you sound like a big muff. <laughs> you got a big muff? I used to have a big muff. Um, no, it's a pedal. It's a fuzz pedal. Big muff is fuzzy. Anyway, yeah, so I draw all these goobers. And I had this idea a couple days ago, and I almost tweeted it. Because I got this idea watching the news. Because they show these photos. And at that point, it was only four. And when I was doing this cartoon, they said they interviewed five, pe nine people that they know of. And I was like, screw it, I'm sticking with this number of people. And I was going to draw what the actual people looked like. But when they showed the photos of people, two of them were just like silhouettes, because they didn't have photos of them. And I thought, yeah, that's about right. They're, uh, they're, they're interviewing like four people and two silhouettes. And I thought, hey, that's my cartoon. Let's go with that. And I was like, I, I don't know how funny that is or whatever. But it kind of gets a point across, so I was doing it. And then while drawing, as you will see here, I kind of changed my mind. And you'll see in a minute. Uh, but I didn't change my mind until after I started coloring. I was well into my third cup of coffee by the time I changed my mind. Who, uh, with some shout outs. All right. Robert Cotino says, reasons to not allow capital gains to be taxed at a low rate, DJT. I do agree. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. Da, 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 da. I am real. I, oh, yeah, I already moved my mousey thingy uh, to this computer. I got to use my hands on touchpad. Uh, somebody doesn't think I can, like, uh, record and read comments at the same time. May help them with the election in 2018, Robert Cotino says, but Kavanaugh gave them ample excuse to impeach him. Yeah, it's still really, really hard to impeach a Supreme Court justice. And then you got to, like, argue, can you impeach him for stuff he did before he was a justice? So it's a bunch of stupid stuff. I don't know. And Errol says, I said I look 10 years younger than I am now. Now that I look like I was five when I was going to frat parties. This is what happens when you try and read and record at the same time. Oh, yeah, Ariel? I'll read and record you at the same time. Ha! All right. And Errol also said, you joked that 300 of 328 comments were from me, but that's probably pretty accurate. I give anywhere from five to ten counts per video, and you post like an mf or L L. You call me MF or U M F or. Are you accusing me of effing some M's? Well, I am a father, so I have done that. Right. I won't get into the details. Uh, and I have dated some moms. I. Uh, <laughs> Why did he have to get pull me there, Ariel? Shame on you. Um, <clears throat> I know Donald Trump knows what LIBOR is. I think he just uses the word on the assumption his supporters don't know what it means. That could be true. They don't know what quadruple means. Also, having faith in someone's business ability doesn't mean you keep shoveling money into them without seeing any returns. That's called trying to bail out a stinking ship with a teaspoon. So what she's saying is Fred Trump does not have any faith in Donald Trump's business leadership. No, but it was a great way for him to uh, also... Um, 
keep dodging paying taxes and stuff. All right. So Fred Trump's companies, this is still Ariel. Of course it is. So Fred Trump's companies would say they paid more than they actually spent to skim money off to the family. Huh. Maybe Donald Trump should have some experience that prepared him for politics. Also, I'm pretty sure rent control laws prevent them from hiking the rent above a certain amount per year. That's why they're called rent control. Read more, click. Uh, ask A-L-E-X-A -E about it. You know, if I ask, ask, if I ask her about that, it, she will give me a 20-minute explanation. So I'm not doing that to me or Mr. Cotino today. Um, I'll click if you like anyway. And there says Trump claims. Uh, blah, blah. And this might be where I start changing it. Oh, yeah, I didn't like that. It's like I need it to stand out more. Uh, Trump claims he paid his dad back, or that he had to pay his dad back. Not that he did, but his dad expected him to with interest. However, if you pay back zero dollars with, say, 8% interest, it's still zero dollars. I'm not a math person either, but I know zero times any number equals zero. Oh, yeah? Have you tried zero times one? That's, yeah, still zero. Oh, yeah, have you tried zero? Yeah, never mind. Yeah, they're all zero. Um, and then Arrow said it. I knew it was a lie when he said he was a self-made man because almost anyone could make money if they started with a million dollars. Self-made man means Warren Buffett or Bill Gates. That is true. Who work from the day they were old enough, not someone who got paid from birth so as to avoid paying taxes. Seriously, she is right. Donald Trump had an allowance like at two years of age or 200000 a year. What is that 200000 I don't know if that was a year or months a day. I don't know. He probably didn't even clean his room for that shit, you know? I mean, God, but like 200000 a year. You do have to, like, as Stephen Colbert said, you know, when he claims that he only got like a million dollar loan, you know, that's just barely enough to pay off eight porn stars. <laughs> that's Stephen Colbert. I, I start to watch Stephen Colbert's monologue. About the point I start coloring, and then after that I start listening to music, I start getting my jams on. I'm about to get to the interesting part here of this video. I'm waiting for us to get there. And here we go. No, we don't. I had to color everybody first. At least half of them first. after I color this guy I get my other idea yep here we go and I like these people too and it's like I like the way they look but I just had this other idea I thought let's make people that you can't get anything out of like a baby oh an ugly little baby I didn't like this baby though I didn't like him so this is why this video became so long so then and I do this guy but then I didn't like that, and then I didn't like that, then I didn't like that, and then I kind of like that. I'm not, still not sure if I like it that much. But also to do this, I had to go back to my other layer, and then that's going back and forth between the layers. And then I just told you I did not like this baby. Oh, well, wait, we'll get back to that baby in a minute. And then I thought, okay, the two, that's fine. But I thought, no, I need one more. How about this guy? What's he going to tell you about Kavanaugh? Nothing bad. Uh, Susan Collins is still talking. I mean, I mean you got to explain it for that long. You know you're making the wrong decision. Yeah, here we go. You're doing the baby. Maybe she'll surprise me. Just turn around and go, nope. I just justified voting for him, but I'm not going to do it. I don't know. Anyway, I like this baby a little bit better. Oh, it's a little bit better. He has more of a what on his face. Except with the past where I'm more like, what? But then I kept getting these ideas of people to ask, people to talk to, that they, they're allowed to interview, that, that Donald Trump said that they can interview. Or Don McGahn. You can go interview this guy. He's on a stick. He's doing a very bad job. He got one job. He got one job. It's to scare away scarecrows, and you suck at it. For the longest time, I thought uh, crows and ravens were the same bird. 
I mean, not like there's just one. I mean, they were the same breed and species. But then I, I did some reading on it, and they are not. They're actually two different things. And even though the Baltimore Ravens are called the Ravens, because Edgar Allan Poe wrote, was from Baltimore and he wrote the Raven, um, Ravens aren't really common in Baltimore. But you find some crows. This place here in Virginia, we got crows everywhere. I told you, I would talk about anything and I would go down wormholes. I went down the crow wormhole. And, for, and I was kind of disappointed to, to learn that because every time I saw a crow around here, and there's always like a murder of them. If you don't know what that is, go ask A L E X A. Um, I was kind of disappointed to find out that they weren't ravens because I just thought there was something more romanticized about it. You know, oh, look at all the ravens, creepy little birds, <laughs> creepy birds. But just like crows, they, they can talk too. You can teach them both to say never more. So I just kept getting the ideas for these things. God, Susan Collins. We already hate you. You can stop talking now. Jeez. Duh. I still got like three more minutes of this. I wonder after turning in the report if the the investigators who investigated all this if they went and threw up. <laughs> I'm gonna do nothing. They should have sat on it for at least two more days. Just to fuck with them. And now the Republicans are actually uh, using this to, to amp up their base. You know, they won't let us have our douchebag. Our woman is assaulting drunk douchebag. If they don't let us have them, we have to go pick another one. Cause there's only like 40 more million of them. Susan Collins has this weird belief that uh, Kavanaugh is not going to just rule in favor of Donald Trump or or help him uh, kill investigations or or give him more power or or, or erase Roe versus Wade. I said Roe versus Wade, uh, but um, that was right. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of I, I really am kind of feeling a little bit sick about this, but this is. Some serious, how do you say it, Ariel? Na naivety? Na naivety? Na naivety? Well, I can't hear you talk, so you can't really tell me how to pronounce it. Alexa, how do you pronounce naivety? I pronounce that naivete, but text to speech is always improving, and I might not have it quite right. Thank you, Alexa. Naivete. Naivete. Susan Collins is like, showing a lot of naivete. Alexa, what do you call a bunch of crows? The collective noun for crows is a murder of crows. See? See? I knew that. I thought Alexa did. Now Robert Cotino knows it too. He knows it twice because he heard his and mine. So, naivete. See? I'm, you are literally watching me get, get smarter. <laughs> In real time, people. Naivete. Here comes your cartoon, folks. We are done. Alexa, what sound does a crow make? I thought she was going to say call. All right. Um, <laughs> cow. All right, folks. Y'all come back tomorrow, and I'll promise not to be as goofy. <laughs> yeah. I'm lying like Kevin all lies now. Um except with less harmful intent. Come back tomorrow, subscribe to the channel, click a like, share, and uh, leave a comment. You get a shout out. Bye.